Hi everyone. Welcome to next session in our SAP ABAP learning series. And in today's lecture, we'll discuss how to work with files. So in our SAP ABAP projects, many times we have to deal with the files. Like we have to download the internal table data. It can be any data like sales order data, invoice data, purchase order, any kind of data. We might have the requirement to download the data in a file so that user can access the data through the file. Or if you're working in the data migration project or you're, if you're making any BDC, then we have to first upload the data into SAP system. So in that case also, we work with the files. Okay, so suppose if you want to perform BDC, you want to create some 100 records. So first we'll prepare a text file with 100 records and then we have to upload that file into SAP system. So here the files play an important role. Whenever you're working with the BDC, you're working in a data migration project, or like you want to just send the MIS detail or every day the user need to download the whole work data. Okay, so everything they can do to these file concepts. So as an ABAP developer, we have to create the programs Okay, so which will perform the activity of downloading the file or the uploading the file. So as we know, the SAP ABAP architecture, it is a three layer architecture. The first is a presentation layer. This we can call our actual laptop or local machine through which we are accessing the SAP system. The second is the application layer, which holds all the logic or logic we perform the application layer and then the database layer okay so the file uploading or downloading we work with the presentation layer or with the application layer so to upload download data on the local machine we can make use of this function model call function gui upload or the call function gui underscore download these are the standard sap function module which we can check with transaction code se37 we can also make use of method of a class CLGUI frontend services. This class also provides many methods for uploading, downloading, like file, browser, etc. So this is when you're working with the local machine, that is the presentation server or laptop. But along with this presentation server, most of the time we also need to save data on the application server. Okay, we can either upload the data on the application server or we can download the data. Let's assume like your company has done an integration with a third party system. Okay, and the third party system need the data to perform some activity. So what we can do in SAP ABAP, we'll develop a program. Let's say you want to transfer the purchase order data every day to a WMS system, whereas when a system. So we can generate the file in SAP and we can save that file on the application server. See, if you save this file on the local machine, so only we can access that file, right? No other person can access the file because it is stored in our local machine. But when you want to provide the access of that file to other users or other systems, so the application server is preferred. preferred. Okay, you generate the file, save on the application server, then the third party system they can access your application server or the other users they can also see those files so whenever we generate the files on application server we can check that to transition code al11 okay so as here we have the function models in classes so to work with the application server we have to make use of all these keywords like open data set this will open the file like whenever you want to write some data in the file, what we do, first we open a file, then we start typing the data, okay? So here like after open data set, we have to make use of transfer data, okay? So this will transfer data. So once the data is transferred, then finally we have to close the data set. And the opposite of this, like reading the data of a saved file on the application server. In that case, we'll use read data set. Okay, read data set, transfer, and close data set. 
fine so all this we learn in our next two three lectures that is working with files so first we'll start working on the local machine okay so let's log into sap system and start creating our first program of working with files so now i log into sap system so first i will explain my requirement so i want to download the sales invoice data in a text file so sales invoice data like through the vf03 we can display the single billing document okay this is the invoice number this is the date customer id pair metal id metal description quantity net value and the tax amount okay so tax amount is here we can see in the conditions this is vf03 transaction code so the net value and the tax value okay so all this information i want to download in a text file so first we should know the table in which we'll get all this data okay so the table for this the first table is the header table for invoice data vbrk so from the vbrk i will select invoice number vbeln then i will select fk date there is a fk date field billing date and then i want the payer or sold to subtitle party ku energy is the field yeah we can see ku and rg is payer and ku energy is sold to party okay so i will continue with the ku and rg payer so from vbrk i will select only three fields and then the line item table so one invoice can contain one line item or more than that that's why along with the vbeln here we can see postnar also key field okay so from here i will select vbeln not vbeln will select from the vbrk from this table i will select postnar then the actual invoice quantity sales unit after this i will select metal and metal description that is matnar here is the matnar and metal description is arktx and after this i will select the net wr that is the net value and then the tax amount that is mwsbp okay so all those fields i will select and then i will download the data with all these fields okay so let me log into sap system and create a program so go to sc38 z files okay we can give any name so i'm giving name here z files create i will give title as working with files executable program save in a transport request i will get a new request zk say working with files so first i will declare i will do data declaration so tables i will use here vbrk so let me start like types begin of tp underscore tp underscore invoice so first three field from the vbrk which i explained so vbeln of type vbrk vbeln second field i am going to select from vbrk is the fk date that is the invoice date third field i am going to select from vbrk is kua nrg that is payer right so first three field from the vbrk now next field i will select from vbrp right vbrp so first field is postnar that is line item number after that my second field is fk img my second field is like fk img yeah and vrkme data element is also same 
VRKME and FKIMG. So I will set here FKIMG type FKIMG VRKME that is the sales unit VRKME. Then after this, I will select MATNAR of type VBRP MATNAR. The next is material description that is ARKTX type VBRP ARKTX. So first, we have to create an internal table, right? Then I'm selecting net WR type VBRP net WR. Then MWSBP that is a tax amount. So VBRP MWSBP. Fine. So my type declaration is done. Three fields from the header and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields from the line item table. So total ten fields in my type declaration. Now I will declare an internal table. Data GT underscore invoice. This will create an internal table type standard table of TP underscore invoice. Then one work area also I'm creating of type TP underscore invoice. Fine. So now first I have to design a selection screen. Selection screen begin of block B1 with frame title text 001 then selection screen end of block d1 and on the selection screen i want only the date and the pair two fields i want okay so right here select options the first is s underscore fk date for vbrk fk date and second field I want S underscore KUNRG. That is for VBRK KUNRG pair. Save check. Some error ARKTX. Okay. Here is spelling mistake. Yeah, no, no issue. So I will go to text elements here. I will assign the dictionary text, billing date, and pair. And just activate this fine so till now we have just created a type declaration and a selection screen so in the next lecture we'll write the logic to select and download the data that we'll learn in the next lecture thank you